Hi folks, Professor Amachi wanted to get you through the coding challenge two, coding challenge two assignment and let's get started. Okay, first thing you're gonna wanna do as always, open up the folder where your data files are. So here, and we are under HTML1. We can go to open and then we see all of our files that are down here. Uh, we are on the coding challenge number two. So under code two there, we can load up the file here and let us do a save as. So let's do save as, let's not work off of our master. Okay, uh, delete that underscore text. And there's that new file that's right there. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do after, after all that is the author and the date. Author and the date, uh, 02 2021. That should get you through that one there. Uh, go ahead and save. Okay. And uh, let's hit the first one here. The first one is make sure revelation is H1 and by Robert Frost is H2. Okay, that's easy enough. So we'll just mark that and we'll do an Emmet wrap with abbreviation. So we'll wrap that first one with H1 and by Robert Frost, this is H2. Okay, and that will be wrapping with that. Okay. Uh, for each stanza of the poem as a paragraph, within each of the three stanzas, well, um, how about we do this first? How about we mark uh, that stanza there as a paragraph? So let's wrap with P for paragraph. Okay, go ahead and wrap that as well. wrap this as well. Okay, good. So then use a hard break at the end of each line within each of the three stanzas, end each line with a break using the uh, hard break right there. And then that's the auto close tag. Easy enough. Let's do an emit for break. Okay, emit for break and then add our self close there. And good. For alternating lines within the three stanzas, insert three non-breaking space character entries to indent the text of those lines, three spaces. Okay, that should be easy enough as well. That's a non-breaking space and we need three of these. So why don't we grab that and grab some of that there too. Okay, good. So those are your three non-breaking spaces. Replace the line of dashes after the poem with a uh, horizontal rule. Okay. So this, just go ahead and highlight it and do horizontal rule. Okay, good, good, good. Enclose the reference to the poem's origin with a footer tag. So let's wrap that with footer. Okay, mark the text a boy's will using the site tag. 
uh, boys will. So we'll wrap that with site and then replace the word copyright with the copy here. Okay, we do this and do copy. All right, hopefully that's everything here. Uh, verify final, uh, final design looks okay. Go ahead and do save. And we do open active file and preview. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, that looks okay. We have our spaces in here. Uh, we have the hard breaks. Uh, we have site that's right here. And we have the horizontal rule that's right in here. So let's go ahead and copy that. And let's see. Let's see if this meets requirements here. So um, yeah, go ahead. And uh, if you want to just uh, do this off book, then go ahead and save. Go ahead and save that, uh, save the file first, and then that folder, which is code two. Go ahead and zip it up. Uh, if you wanna have the auto grader, uh, if you wanna have MindTap do it for you, then we can do this. Okay, so bring up your MindTap here mind tap lab and go ahead and replace the code with uh, what you did over here in your in your vs code and then let's see if we can run our checks oh yeah at the same time let's uh, take a look at it here All right, excellent. You ran all your checks here on your task list. Go ahead and submit, make sure everything's 100% or as close to 100% as you can and go ahead and confirm. And that is how you get 100 points on your coding challenge too. I hope you had fun with this and we will see you on the next one. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, all right? Thanks.